Tanya here. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, today I decided that I wanted to showcase a product, uh, Leaf to Stamp, uh, Stamp and Dies, mostly the dies. I'm going to uh, cover a technique that I do and hopefully maybe it'll be new to some of you all and you could try it. Uh, but if you like to get your hands messy, this is for you. <laughs> so let's get started. For starters, you need to protect your surface. I have paper towel here. This is a piece of inexpensive uh, watercolor paper. I think it's Canson's XL. Well, you can get it with a coupon at the craft store. It costs almost next to nothing. And we have some, uh, the water brush, the, the wide one, and just some clean water. And a palette of the Stamps of Life for Yinkers. So we have cranberry, banana, green apple, and tangerine. So based on this, you can see that I'm gonna go with some fall colors. Of course, you could do this with any color you want. So the first thing I do is I just take my cardstock, not my cardstock, I'm sorry, my watercolor paper, and I just give it a good, good coating of water. Just drench it. Like so. You want the paper to be nice and wet and saturated. And you can tell it's working because it's kind of buckling up. Now all I do is just take some color. Um, just be careful when you do this not to mix the green. Try to keep the green away from the red and the orange or not you're going to get some funky browns. So let's start with the green and I just drop it into the paper and spread it around. Clean the brush off. Uh, yellow's a good, <laughs> yellow's a good color to, to break it all up. So you put some yellow in here, add some green in here to the yellow. I know it's a hot mess, but that's okay. Just, it doesn't matter. Just spread some color around, make sure the colors work pretty together. And now we either can let it sit to dry or we could use a heat gun. So we'll come back when we clean up and I'll come back and take, go to the next step. So now what I do is I just take my dies Actually, this is a good way of making some pretty backgrounds too, except this one's kind of messy, but you can get pretty creative and make some, some backgrounds. So now at this point, I lay the dies down. All cut out. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It reminds me when I was a little kid, I used to live up north and my, my dad used to rake the leaves and I used to jump in. Isn't that, that's just like it. Okay, so you don't want to work with water or watercolor paper. You want to use regular cardstock? Let me show you how to do this with just using regular cardstock. Powdered sugar. And I'm going to be using the, the sponge blenders because I really want to get some color in there. Let me start with the same, the same uh, order that I did the last one. But this time I want to get some more yellow in there. So just get a lot of ink on your on your and just spread it around. It doesn't have to be smooth or anything. Just, just get the color on there. Actually, if you want, you could even do that. <laughs> there you go. Again, this doesn't look like much, but it doesn't even matter. Okay, and then we'll get um, tangerine and then do uh, the cranberry. These need, need to be re-inked. Okay, all done, all cut out. And you get all these beautiful colors. And now with the watercolored ones, and I get all these leaves that you can use for your, your fall projects for accents. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you all have a good day. Take care.